Hello, people of God. Hello, beloved of God. I hope you are all well. Um, second word of the night. And it's just so crazy that, you know, the Holy Spirit just wants me to release this. And I've just been feeling it so strong. Even today, a particular thing just really happened um, that confirmed this word to me. And the Lord said that there are going to be some meetings happening in July that your beloved is running to you. He's been saying this for the past two days. Um, and in essence, he was speaking to me about how he's been removing a lot of um, obstacles between you and most of your promises. Now, for some of you, beloved can be um, a spouse, but for some of you, beloved could just be, I hope y'all didn't hear that, <laughs> but for, for some of you, beloved could be something that you love, that you've been expecting from the Lord, a promise or, or of sorts, okay? So the reason why... Um, it is also, it can also be called beloved is because, um, of course it's something you love, but the Lord just keeps making it clear that it's just, it's just him showing you his love through these promises. Okay. So he's bringing, um, he's bringing gifts or he's bringing, um, things that will reflect his love to you. Okay, so for some of you, it's spouses, but for some of you, it's um, very, very treasured promises, things that you've been, you know, asking the Lord of that you really love. The Lord is saying you're going to collide with those in this month. In this month, you're going to collide with those. For some of you, like I said in the beginning, meetings with your spouse are going to happen in this month. Okay? So I pray that this word encourages you. I think I'm just going to keep it as brief as I, I already have. But as you can see, we're in Song of Solomon chapter 2. And this is verse 8. And it says, The voice of my beloved. Behold, he cometh leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. And um, even when... This um this lockdown happened. The Lord tugged it, tugged this to me. Oh, there's a lockdown in South Africa for some of you. I mean, I know most of you are not in South Africa. But when that happened, the Lord really tugged me with this word all the more and said, Buseleto, I'm removing obstacles. I'd been, this entire time I've been in the business of removing obstacles. Okay, for some of you, the obstacle was you, as you can see by the title. Okay, for some of you, the Lord was just saying, oh, um, some of them had decided to settle. Some of them had decided to do whatever it is in their own mind to try and achieve the promise. And they were disappointed because the door was shut in their face. But I need them to go back to what they really want. What you really asked for. And what the Lord really said he would give to you, not, not, not the stuff that you were trying to put together. Okay. Not the relationships that you were trying to put together because you thought they were, um, they were accessible. They were convenient. Okay. The Lord said, I, I, I told you what I want for you. And you've just been running around, you know, trying to settle for whatever little thing because you're wary because you feel like you've been waiting and this and that and the other but the lord is saying time for collisions i've been removing all of those um obstacles i've been removing all of those thoughts of 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 uh, of settling i've been allowing those doors to shut and it's not that the lord you know deliberately went uh, ahead of you and shut that door no that was never going to work out. It's not what he has for you. So of course the door shut. Of course it didn't work out. Okay. So. Please 
if you've been if you've been um one of these people who've um been running into closed doors and you feel um you feel confused something that the lord you know just the holy spirit just told me yesterday was um that sometimes we just get so caught up in our emotions offended over the door that was closed that we never get to the point where we ask the lord lord which door is open lord which door am i meant to walk in or to just humble yourself to the point of saying okay lord i do believe that this is the door that you said would open but you haven't opened it so i submit that much to know that you will open it in the time that you want it to open okay not for you to be offended and say oh lord this oh lord um that oh lord why is it no did the Lord promise you that? Yes. Did the Lord say it was going to happen? Yes. That settles it. That settles it. There is there is no deliberation. There is no... If, if you want it to happen in your own time, then that's something else. But if you asked something of the Lord and he said, I would do it, then I mean... Get away for him. Okay. So I pray. I pray that even as you allow the Lord to. Allow the Lord to redirect you to what really. Actually, yeah, to redirect you back to what he has said was yours before. Um, before the weariness, before the impatience really kicked in. I pray that um, you will allow him to allow you to collide with it. Allow him to do it. Allow him to do it. Don't murmur. Allow him to do it. And he's saying he's doing it this month. Okay? So, beloved, I pray that this word encourages you. The Lord is saying he's removed all the obstacles including you and all the problematic, um, you know, cycles and whatever, the thoughts and the settling and everything that you were tempted to do instead of wait on him. So the Lord is saying he's removed the obstacles. Okay. And he has set the stage for you to receive what is yours and collide with it this month. Okay, so I pray that this word really encourages you and lets you know what the Holy Spirit is doing and what is said to happen in this month. So I pray, people of God, it encourages you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for all the collisions, for all the meetings that are happening in this season. Thank you for all the spouses. Thank you for all the promises. Thank you for the love that you are showing your people this month in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive it. Lord, we receive your instruction. Moreover, oh God, we humble our hearts and we posture them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So that you can do anything that you please with them. That you can do and fulfill Everything that you wish, that you have purposed with them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, be glorified, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. I don't know if y'all heard the voices and the laughing that I be hearing. Ugh, okay, you know what? <laughs> some of y'all be ta be telling me, but so we don't even hear some of the noise that you complain about. I'm sorry. <laughs>
just sensitive to it. In any case, I pray that this word confirms or gives you direction and the hope that you've been looking for even as this month begins. I am telling you, you are colliding with something that belongs to you this month. Just in July. And don't deny us the testimony, okay? When the Lord does it, don't deny us the testimony. So I pray that this word really encourages you all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. A lot of spouses, a lot of promises are meeting, colliding this month. And God bless you as you do so. And as the Lord gives you what he gives you, he will give you even the power and the will to steward it in his ways. Okay? So I pray that this word encourages you all. And until I release another word, I love you all so much. Bye-bye.